I got cut off. I'm not happy with that. So we're going to try this again. Um, part two. I never do that, but part two. I'll have the first part linked at the bottom, or maybe it's at the top. Anyways, um, let's run this back, right? We have the high priestess, which is you, being the intuitive individual. About you, this person is going to learn, gather the information, see. I'm sorry, we're doing this the other way. <clears throat> you are... Um, Recognizing, holy cow, this person is mad. Shush up. You are recognizing that this person is holding on to some illusion, some darkness, some unhealed shadow work. This ultimate toxic. And all you are is loving and kind, and you are trying to understand. But you're also waiting for them to try and start understanding you too. The problem is there's someone else in the mix, okay? And everything this Queen of Wands is saying, this King of Swords is listening, like fully listening. Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Pisces, a lot of Pisces. You know. I pulled more cards than I like pulling. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Um, let's pull from the moon. This might not have to be a part two. I might be able to merge them together. I'm gonna have to re-download that app, that video editor. Love and intimacy. Love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. Love should not come with conditions. If you have to fight for it, that's not love. Some of you are or have learned how to love yourself enough, comfort yourself, be your own security system, that you don't necessarily need it from, I mean, A, you are going to receive it. You're, you're not going to, if you manifest it in the ethers through yourself, it's going to be reflected in the physical as well. It'll come towards you, which interesting because now the six of swords is more upright than it was completely sideways but there's also a level of protection that these people are being stripped of because you're not allowed to love them they don't want your love they want you to take their bullshit and call it caviar mm. that I see it so often, like, the corruption, <laughs> it's insane. I understand why some people think this is a matrix, because that's a fucking NPC, that's not a people, that's an NPC. <laughs> Movement awakens my creative spirit. I'm of the earth and in harmony with nature. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's medicine in my shadow. Yeah, you went outside and you didn't just touch the grass. You became the grass. All right, somebody may have actually tried psychedelics. Um, you move. You move. You make moves when you need to. When it's time to shift the energy, you get up and you do that. Um, you've healed. You've healed so much. I think you have a lot of abundance flowing in. It's 
12, 21, 27, 37. That's kind of interesting. Thirty-three, nine, ten, or one. You're following your dreams. You're doing the right thing. And if people don't want to support you and they want to belittle you or badmouth you, then let them. It just shows the kind of character they have, you know. You're still talking. Meanwhile, you're just doing you and look at it. I mean, if you're on social media or if you're like in the public eye in some way, that six of wands that I kept getting as well, that's on stage, being seen, recognized on a platform, like, you are a major healer. Both of these are healers. Both of these are angelic. Water and fire. And you can balance them. Like, it's insanely powerful. And that's in your near future. And this is how you're getting there. You're believing in yourself. You're having the confidence in yourself and setting those boundaries and respecting your boundaries even when no one wants to. It's probably the last time I'm going to say that because... It doesn't need to be said again. It's this energy right here that's got me feeling that way. The death, the world, justice... Especially the Knight of Pentacles. That's a very, very, very stagnant energy. But it's something waiting for the opportune moment, right? Waiting to collect the evidence. Waiting for the final judgment, verdict, uh, you know. <clears throat> and then even processing a little bit. But that major ending, it is slamming one door shut and opening another. always had everything you need just you maybe you were worried about having support outside of yourself or there's a few different reasons but regardless people pleasing or wanting to be approved and liked by others whatever it might be it's not going to come until you're really you not a persona not a mask, not trying to fit this profile that you might think be you. Because when this is who you are, literally what the world needs, you can't be showing up like anybody but you. Why do you think these people tried so hard to tell you who you are and what you should do and what you should be and where you should go and what you should wear and who you should be with and how long you should be there, when you should be back? And That sounds like prison to me. I don't know about you, but. So maybe this independence is gonna actually do a lot more good than harm. Especially if all this cutting people off or, you know, finding out, realizing is recent. This gets a lot better. A lot better. <laughs> because of you. It's a choice, man. You can choose to be better like this person or you can choose to do the right thing. What you know in your heart is the right thing to do. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. If you're worried about somebody trying that, just don't tell them. <laughs> Problem solved, right? 
Anyways, I'm officially going to leave this reading here. Apologies for having to do a part two or three or whatever. Um, unless I can get the editor to squish it all into one. Then never mind, disregard all that. We have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo. That's a lot. There's a lot of major arcana, though, that's why. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.